In this session, we're going to look at how we can generate random numbers. So let's get underway. So first of all, I'm going to start a new project by going right mouse click, going to new, a new Python file. And I'm just going to put random numbers and click on enter. Now once I've entered in here, I want to first of all import the random number. So I'm going to go up and go import and then random and press enter. Now what this would do is actually import the random function. So random numbers are generated by the computer using the CPU clock time. So it's a good idea that we use something that's completely random and therefore it uses the milliseconds of a computer to help generate these. So by importing the module, we then have access to the different functions. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is actually store a random number. So I'm just gonna go random underscore number is equal to. So this is where I'm gonna put the random number. Now to generate a random number, we're gonna call the random function. Then we're gonna call one of its methods called randint, R-A-N-D-I-N-T. So this is gonna generate us a random integer. Then we have what's known as the start number. So I wanna start at one, and then I wanna stop at six. So this will give us a range of one to six, and that's gonna be stored in random number. Once we've stored it, then we can actually print this. So we're gonna go print bracket random number. Now I'm gonna right mouse click and run our random number generator. And then now output, we can see the number two. So if I hit play again, it'll run it again. We've got five, six is our upper, and we should get a one as well. And there's our one. So this gives us our lowest number and our largest number. So in a way, for the random integer, we have a start number and then stop number. So this is the easiest way to generate a random number within Python. Now, if we were to display what your lucky number is, we'll need to actually change your output string and say your lucky number is, and end the quote, and then we need to concatenate this with a plus sign. And because random number is actually an integer, and we know this by rand int, integer being a whole number, we need to then convert this back to a string. So we put str for string and place the random number within that bracket. So therefore it takes the random number that's generated here between one and six, converts it to a string and adds it to our lucky number is, and I'm gonna put a colon and a space. So when the program runs now, we get your lucky number is five. If I do it again, it'll give us another random number. If I want a lucky number between one and 100, I would just change the upper one to 100 and hit go. So your lucky number is 56. So that's how we actually use random numbers within Python. So if you found this tutorial useful, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python tutorials. I wish you all the best in your programming.